Hello. So today is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm actually going to be doing two different looks for you today. So I've got my work cut out for me. I basically tried to keep this on the shorter side by doing my base beforehand. I've done my foundation and I've put on my cream contour. That means that we can just get straight into the look. But essentially today we're going to be trying out the Made by Mitchell Blurch. This is Blurches, I guess. So this one is Cowlick. It's this really strong Barbie pink. And then there's this one here, which is Mango Daiquiri. And it's like a bright, vibrant orange. And basically I've had these now for a wee while and I've kind of... Like I never just had the opportunity to use them. Like you know, they are not like what I gravitate towards. Obviously, with the color of them, they're not super everyday. But I'm gonna do one look that's really avant-garde or just more intense than um, usual day-to-day -day makeup. And then I'm gonna try and make the other one more wearable. Like just to see if I could like not get away with it, but like just kind of incorporate it into my daily wearing like my regular makeup routine so i'm going to be starting out by using this one here which i think i'll be using for the more intense one i'll do a wee swatch on the back of my hand so you can kind of see so it comes with a wee doe foot applicator just that wee amount and then if you just if i do this it does it feels really nice so obviously it goes from being a liquid into this like it does almost feel like a powder when it's kind of dry like this so it looks like that and then if i do orange there we go so these are the two colors so i did think this video would be a little bit different if i did two looks instead of just picking one and doing um a extreme look with one of them. I've kept everything else on my face fairly clear. I've not even done brows or anything just because I don't know if I'm going to be wanting like a more intense brow or like something a bit more natural to kind of offset what's going on in the cheeks. So yeah, let's just get into it I guess. So I think I'm going to start with applying the blush and then I'll work from there around it. I think I'm going to have a look and see if there's any a recommendation with how to apply it like whether you should just use your fingers or if there's like a sponge is better or anything like that so i'm gonna have a wee look basically the website says that to apply the product um stipple using a brush onto the high points of the cheeks down towards the apple of the cheeks and then use the brush to kind of blend it out. So I think this brush will work. The brush that they recommend is from the same brand, but I don't have any of their brushes. So I think this one's the most similar. It does say here dries to a satin powder matte finish, which makes sense as when I swatched it, it definitely did feel like it became like a powder. So very curious. I'm gonna apply some onto the back of my hand and then that way I can get it onto the brush. I hate using a brush for cream products, but here we are. Just gonna pat it on. Like so. And just blend as I'm going, I guess. Once you have the product placed, I'm just using the brush to blend it out. I'm just making sure that it's not more intense on one side than it is on the other. This reminds me, I can't actually remember if it's at all similar to the real makeup, but on first impressions, this reminds me of the makeup from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang when she like is the in the case and she's like the doll thing. Also, this reminds me of um, Rihanna, that look that she did for the Met Gala. Was it the Met Gala? Yeah, definitely, I think it was. I've done I've done that look before. I'm gonna bring it up onto my eyes, taking inspiration from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Rihanna. This is what I'm gonna come to. A merging of both looks. Okay, I feel like this blended really nicely and easily. I was really skeptical because as we have come to understand on this channel, I hate using brushes for makeup application, but here we are. 
um, I brought it up onto my eyes and I feel like this would be like really pretty for like a not for not on me but like for like a perfume campaign or something like that just something super like springtime but like make it just 100% more intense. I think because the face and the blush is so intense I'm gonna go for a more natural brow so I'm just gonna use a clear brow gel just to kind of tame them and get them into place but not to add any tint. I'm gonna add a little bit of extra shading just in the eye to give it a little bit of definition. I'm gonna use this blush here um, just to give it a little bit of shadow on the outer V but still having it incorporated into the rest of the look. I'll do a little bit underneath the eyes as well actually now and here but still wanting it to be connecting to cheeks and then I'm going to use some of this pink heart highlight just to have like a pinkiness in like to reflect the longer I have this on the more I'm like I could leave the house like this like this is like a day-to-day -day look but it simply isn't but that's okay so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put mascara top and bottom lashes and then try and like tweeze together the bottom ones to make it like very doll like And then I'm going to switch mascara to do my bottom lashes, just, just so I have better control. So I'm going to switch to this L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which has like a finer wand. Okay, that took altogether way too long. And now I'm gonna be moving on to, actually, do you know what? I feel like the brows need more, so I'm gonna do that. Using this lip liner. adding a little bit more blush just to make it look a little bit more intense. I feel like this would be good for like a costume party or something like that. Um, I think it's really cute. You could, definitely could like just wear it out if you wanted to. Like it's not that crazy, especially like I feel like at the moment blush is really in and like a lot of people are just contouring with blush. This could be like accepted i think also i've i put two different layers on so if you wanted to tone it down a bit you definitely could but yeah look one complete and now i will start again and use this one to make something slightly more everyday and wearable and i respawned so back to the start essentially i'm back with just foundation and like pure base with a little bit of contour I'm basically ready to start on the next blush. Now I don't know if I'm gonna apply this the same way I think I'm gonna apply it with my fingers and then blend it out with a beauty blender. Applied some to the back of my hand. I'm just gonna just starting out really light with this blush just to kind of see where I'm at with it. Okay I'm actually just gonna use this wee brush here. I'm using a different one just so I'm not contaminating the colours. Again, bringing it up kind of almost into my eye because I feel like that just makes it look like from front on that looks the nicest. I think I would use this and then have a different blush on top because I would want to bring in a little bit of rosiness to my face. Like I feel like I like this as like a contour bronzer topper. Oh, do you know what I might do as well? Just for just for fun. 
fun. So I'll do my blush first and then I'll do my little idea. I'm gonna use this a Warm Soul blush just cause it's quite a nice neutral pinky color. I'm just gonna do it right at the front there. Yeah, I like that layering. Okay, and then also with this brush, I'm gonna use, oh, I haven't used this in ages. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife highlighter. And I just like a little dusting of this on occasion. So just a little. It just brings such a gorgeous golden glow. Just using this on the back of my hand, I'm gonna do a little bit of a shadow just with this colour. No, just to bring it in a little bit of definition. I really like this. I feel like it makes it look a little bit different and it has like a different tone to like ordinary makeup that I would do. Brows, I'm gonna use the Glossier Boy Brow. Add some mascara and then I'll add some mascara and then I will just have my lips to do. Do you know what this needs? It needs freckles. So I'm gonna add some. I have used so many lips today. And I'll just do a little bit of um, over the top. Okay, I think like a really nude, or like just a really glossy just lining with this charlotte tilbury lip liner i'm gonna use this glossier lip gloss if i can get it open oh my god jesus right okay and that's this look complete look two of two. I absolutely love this look. I was a wee bit worried when I first put it on so like what is this gonna be but I honestly think this like contributes to a really bronzy summery look and it just looks cute honestly if I'm being totally honest. I just think it looks nice for like a little summery night or like a little picnic or something like that. Yeah so that's how I um I guess used both of these colors I just was looking for an excuse to use both of them and like test them out and just be creative with it i guess and um, i hope you like this video and um yeah i hope you enjoyed watching me um figure out the looks i was going to do with each of them let me know if you like these kinds of videos where i've got like multiple looks in one i did a video last year of me recreating four looks of Alexa Demi and I absolutely loved making that video but I don't know if it's really what you want to watch so yeah um, go watch that video if you haven't seen it already. It took forever to make and forever to have it all edited and uploaded but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video please let me know what you would like to see in the future. Let me know of any products that you would like me to try out and thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye